guys that have problem with their penis, man. Yeah. It's an issue because like right now, testosterone is the lowest it's ever been. In the 1980s, the testosterone levels, the normal testosterone was around about 500. Mm -hmm. In the 90s, it was around about 425. In the early two, 2000s, it was around about 250. And now we're seeing people with an average testosterone around about 250. Our ancestors, like our paleo ancestors, because we can do like, you know, certain tests and see what their testosterone levels were. Mm -hmm. They were walking around with a testosterone level between 1,000 and 1,500. So just think about that. In society today, there's so much estrogen in our diet and we just don't re know about it. Mm -hmm. It's like you were talking about earlier with the, you know, buying things in plastics. Mm -hmm. Those plastics, again, they break down and they have chemicals in them. BPA, you've heard BPA in, on the water bottle. Yeah. BPA is an is a, a endocrine disruptor, but also known as a fake estrogen or a xenoestrogen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so every time we're ingesting something that has plastic on it, that whether it's a plastic food in a product or drinking out of a plastic bottle, we're getting a little bit of that fake estrogen. And most people will say, all right, I bought, I bought the bottle that's BPA free. Mm. But then you know what companies did? They created a BPS. They could have created a BPS. And they're even more dangerous than the BPA, the BPS, and the BPF. A large reason is because everything we eat, just start looking at what you're eating and the things that you're buying, everything is, has plastic on it. So that's the first thing. First thing is contributing to the problem. The other thing is a lot of meats, and you'll see this, you can look this up on the internet. When you they get chicken, they, they inject it with something. And it makes yeah, the chicken pl puff up. Yeah, see that. Okay, now most people think it's just water with salt but they also put something in there called phthalates. Phthalates are what are, is used typically as a preservative, and these phthalates are also fake estrogens, okay? Mm -hmm. You'll also see them in hair products and hy uh, hygienic products and also mm -hmm. foods. Parabens, you'll see them. So when you turn it on the label and you see phthalates, it starts with a P, mm -hmm. the P is silent. But the phthalates, when you see parabens, whether it says methylparaben or butylparaben, these are things that are estrogens. So that's raising the estrogen levels. When you raise estrogen, it's gonna cause testosterone to go down. And the reason why it causes it to go down is because those fake estrogens, there's receptor sites that the, the, like imagine this, this mic right here. The testosterone to be able to work for the body, to build muscle, et cetera, it has a land on a receptor site, which is like a landing pad, mm -hmm. and then causes this effect on the muscle to grow, mm -hmm. all right? But those fake estrogens land on there instead, so the testosterone can't get on there. Mm. So you may even have a normal testosterone, but you will have you will have all the symptoms of somebody with low testosterone. You will be losing hair. You will not be able to build muscle. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have you'll develop man boobs. Yeah, yeah. You'll have impotence problems, like problems in the bedroom, mm. all of those type of things because of that. You know, one of the examples that they gave was, and you probably heard about this, where the frogs were, you know, coming into contact with this herbicide that they put on a lot of food. And this herbicide is called atrazine. And they saw that when the frogs came into contact with this herbicide, which is the second most used atrazine uh, herbicide in America, the frog literally went from being a male frog to a female frog. Not that they turned gay, they turned into an, <laughs> a, a whole female frog. <laughs> Now, to be able to do this, bro, like, think about this. It took about 200 nanograms per deciliter to be able to do that, to convert a male frog to a female frog. So okay. basically taking all the testosterone out this? So much estrogen that uh -huh. it converts. That's where the man boobs come yeah. from, like, all of those type of things. Now, guess what the allowed amount of atrazine is in drinking water? This is why it's so important to drink good mm -hmm. water, high quality. Guess what the 200 converted a, a male frog into a female frog. Guess what the allowed amount is in drinking water? 2,000. 3,000. 3,000. That's a lot. 3,000. Mm -hmm. So you can see why so many women are developing breast, breast cancer because as estrogen goes up, mm -hmm. breast cancer goes up, cervical cancer goes up, fibroids goes up, et cetera, mm -hmm. okay? As estrogen goes up, more problems with men, mm -hmm. lower testosterone, more man boobs, mm -hmm. more losing hair, more belly fat, an inability to make muscle, you mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So we literally are in a society that is allowing us to become feminized. And not mm -hmm. in a way like 
feminized in the sex that you're choosing. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about feminized physically. Mm -hmm. So that's why I so, you know, such an issue with testosterone today. Thanks for watching this video, but be sure to check this next video out that's right here.